Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick video on how to obtain the cargo runs and how and what you need to do with them uh, once you have them. Okay, so we have the cargo runs now in game and there are two types of cargo runs. There's the Devil's Rule ones which are more risky but better rewards and there is the standard ones as well. So. As you can guess, being a merchant part of the Merchants Alliance, you pick up the cargo runs from any Merchant uh, Alliance person. This one here is a Senior Trader Mildred. Um, yeah, so you go over here, and where you would have just three Merchant, you've now got two cargo runs, and you also have one of the standard Merchant Alliance runs. So once you have picked them up and paid, I already think I have one in my voyages there we go so I don't need to buy another one I'll chuck it down for you uh, you put it down obviously you propose it if you're working with other players you need to obviously accept it now in this case it is telling me once we are once you've accepted it it will give you a writ uh, in this case it's telling me to go to Wilma on the ancient spire outpost so luckily it's this one but just because I bought this writ from this place doesn't mean I have to like pick up my stuff from this place you can actually get sent to other places to pick up the things Okay, there's a quick and easy way to work out where stuff is. Um, the name kind of gives it away. So all the characters that are weaponsmiths have um, have names that start with W. Uh, the clothes guy, which is this the clothes guy? So no, this is the tools guy. So tools and equipment. Um, so for example, Tim here, he sells like your buckets and your compasses and things like that. So that's tools. So all characters with the letter T are tools. So that's you go to the tool shop. And then I think Chris, is it Chris on this one? I'm not too sure. He obviously has a name which is C and that's to do with clothes. So Colin, this guy is. Uh, so that's all your clothes. So if you says like here, for example, we've got Wilma, then you can go straight to the weaponsmith. And there she is. The other one I would point out as well is that, that you do occasionally, um, I don't know, do you get them from the shipwright? I'm not too sure if you get them from the shipwright, but you can get them from the tavern. So again, all the tavern ladies are being with T, so T for tavern. So you go to your destination, you pick up your bottles, um, or we'll pick up your cargo. As you can see, I've got eight to pick up here. This is very nice. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to put them all out here and I'll explain my best method for getting them on the ship because this can be the complicated part because you don't want to get those cloths wet, you don't want to keep the plants dry uh, you don't want to keep the plants dry, you don't want to keep the plants from going dry because you lose uh, you lose the value uh, right so say the ship wasn't close enough and you've got your bottles do not just jump across what I find is the easiest method to do with the bottles is to drop into the water calmly use the ladder and then you are guaranteed not to smash your bottles up straight away from just like before you even start thinking about delivering them let's go and get the cloth and I'll explain that so that's the bottles uh, the best thing for the cloth is the opposite of basically what you've just done you want the ship closer or you want to use a rowboat and bring the rowboat to the shore and uh, let's see if I can do it without messing this up yes I did um, they've got to stay dry so I'm gonna put these in the crow's nest obviously avoid the storms if you're in the normal area the normal three season not the devil's rule uh, obviously in Devil's Rock it doesn't rain so you should be able to keep things dry but then you're going to take damage from the bottles okay so lastly it is the plants um, it doesn't as you can see these cover these cover your view so be careful obviously if there's other pirates around or you can see other ships it's not the best time to start walking around with plants and again they need water so just pop yourself uh, into the water just to make sure you're keeping them nicely refreshed because they do shrivel out and they are worth less the next thing I would do, obviously depending on what ship you're doing, is put these towards the back of your ship, like so, not on top of there because that would be silly. Pop them on the bottom, um, and then we're not. I haven't fully worked out whether this is true or not yet, but you can fill your ship up with water a little bit, like you do when you take damage, and it should keep them alive. But a few times yesterday when we was playing, um, it, they came out as shriveled, which is a bit strange, really. Um, I always put two buckets down there just to make sure they're covered um, but like I said we've had it a few times where they've actually shriveled out even though there's been two lots of water down there so the best thing to do is just keep two buckets in there so that's two buckets worth 
and then just scoop it up every now and again and chuck it back on just to make sure that they keep uh, keep watered so that they don't die out okay so we've gone through what you need to do with each individual item the last part of this little tutorial of how to get the cargo runs done is to go up to any of the items and hold Y or press Y on Xbox and it will tell you exactly where the items need to be sent to so for this one we need to deliver to Steven at Steven Spoils by midnight and I do believe that is one of the new C posts uh, so we'll carry this over and find out where it is okay so we're on the map we're going to try and find Steven's outpost I can see it just in the corner there so it's just not too far to go there we've got Steven, Steven spoils there uh, we've got to go and take it over to there and uh, yeah we should get some good rewards what I've worked out so far for standard ones if you manage to keep all the items in pristine condition at the world without any damage they pay 350 for the standard ones um, I think damage wise it's 250 and I have never actually this seems to be four stages I haven't gone too below so I don't know how much they pay um, so we'll have to find out at a later date okay so we're about to approach approach where I need to deliver my items um, and I'm going to be showing you the non rowboat version or method uh, if you have a rowboat then you can take the cloth off on the rowboat and you can just sail up to the shore and you can safely deposit um, but when you haven't got one you have to kind of soft crash into your destination um, so what I tend to do is first of all I will pull my sails up a little bit away from my destination let me just see if I can get this timed to right because obviously we don't want to crash into your destination as that will cause your bottles to smash as well um, did I manage to smash them? I did take a little bit of damage on route, unfortunately. So I just need a little bit more just to get it closer because I don't want to be too far away. It should just roll a little bit. Right, that's that's any more than it's risky. I might even be able to dock it quite well. I mean, if you're really good at parking, then park next to it. You should be able to just jump straight off. Um, but with the devil's roll the sea seems a lot more volatile very much very much more wavy than usual so first of all get your rum bottles off if you have any on your cargo run you want to deliver those first uh, because they are fragile and it's just a case of going to the destination pressing X and there we go I've managed to do it so that I can jump straight off that's good hopefully there's no one around again just making sure you don't take any damage because the bottles will lose value if you take damage so once that's done I tend to do the plants next because obviously they need water and they can be a bit weird sometimes like I said and also the fact that they you can't see what you're doing uh, with this one just you can do it either way you can just jump straight off onto the dock or you could jump into the water to give them that extra little bit of water while you deliver them and finally we have the cloth now this time around I've managed to perfectly land right next to the dock but if not you just want to soft crash into the dock so bring the front of your ship just to the front of this and then you can use um, the bow the front this part here to just jump on safely to your destination or onto dry land because obviously it's not always uh, it doesn't mean it's always going to be on a sea post or post or it can be on an island or anything so um, you want to keep you definitely want to keep the coughs dry if I didn't mention it you probably the best place is to put them in the crow's nest the cloth because um, they're not going to get wet if you take damage or anything it's kind of it's bad in a way because you need water so you, you want to take a little bit of damage you don't want to take any damage because you don't want to break your bottles and you don't want to get anything wet because of your cloth so you, you kind of have to work out these steps you might have a better method if you do then let me know in the comment section and there is the final one uh, sold another 350 gold there's no notification unlike the merchant alliance where we come up voyage complete you don't get that with this um, there's no indication on the map either uh, because the destination is on the items themselves so if I felt like it and I didn't really want to take those plants I could drop them in the water and let someone else do them or 
any method really it doesn't really matter but that is the best I, way I can explain how high how high how I do the cargo runs let me know like I say in the comment section if you have any better methods or any different versions that you think might help and yeah if this video has been helpful for you then do consider liking sharing and commenting and subscribing have a great amount of fun delivering your items uh, have a great rest of your voyages also and take care Thank you.